Hey everyone, the celebrity gossip news this week is Amazon owner Jeff Bezos accused the publishers of National Enquirer of trying to blackmail him in a salacious story that really brought home the difference between real world billionaires and those we grew up with like Scrooge McDuck who to my knowledge was never involved in an extramarital affair. Although he was known to express a worrying predilection for gold coins which in the US feature a picture of Native American lady Sacagawea. Anyway, shortly after Jeff Bezos' divorce was announced last month, the National Enquirer was suspiciously quick to publish intimate details and threatened to publish photographs too if Mr. Bezos didn't stop investigating who their source was. Just like a good magician, a newspaper never reveals its secrets. Unless, of course, it's commanded to by a court. Like that time that Piers Morgan discovered that he wasn't allowed to just invent stories in Adobe Photoshop. With the Bezos story, however, there's an undercurrent that beyond the gossip, there's a political game being played here. The publisher's AMI demanded that the Amazon owner make a, quote, false public statement, denying any political motivation for the National Enquirer's coverage of him and his mistress. There's the angle that Mr. Bezos also owns the Washington Post, which had published the story about Jamal Khashoggi's murder by the Saudi government. And it was around that time that the publisher AMI had been linked to Saudi investment. You know, thinking about to Scrooge McDuck, at least when he went to Saudi Arabia to make a killing, it was by means of a treasure map and it was all a metaphor. At this point, anyway, the story is either yesterday's news, soon to be forgotten in favour of something involving, I don't know, Jennifer Anderson or someone, or it's but the start of a two-hour-long voyage for the YouTube conspiracy theory videos that ultimately leave you scratching your head about 9-11, the origins of ISIS, whether the Earth is flat, whether it's hollow like the promises made in the manifesto, or whether we can perhaps get back to boring news next week, like Brexit or the upcoming recommencement of the US government shutdown. <sighs> anyway, see you next week for those, I guess. If you like these, click subscribe.